Hey guys, welcome back to some Katawa Shoujo. Um, very close to the 100th episode, so we're going to do Hour of Power. Um, yes, at 7... Or not 7, 8, 10... That'll be 13 minutes, that'll be enough for an episode. Anyways, so I'll stop recording then, and then right off the bat record, and that'll start the Hour of Power, so... Anyways, let's continue on. Even if they're not in Japan, from the way it sounds, her family must be pretty wealthy to live so luxuriously, and we're calling Lily. See, I do the recap, because I'm like, yeah, um, they're, they're probably have you know, seen the next one. I doubt anyone's going to be up to date when this is actually done daily, so whatever. Anyways. Are things alright with you and Hanako? Damn, I was hoping that wouldn't be brought up so quite so quickly. Take a moment to try and sort out exactly how to describe the situation without causing her undue worry. But she picks up she picks up on that without a word being said. Hanako's not well, is she? How did you know? Because today is her birthday. I'd hope she might have gotten a, at least a little better after coming to know you, but... How is she right now? She missed school yesterday and seemed out of sorts when I checked up on her. Today she missed school again and just told me to go away. I've really had... I've really got no idea what to make of it. Has it happened in the past? Is it related to her scarring in some way? Unfortunately so. Roughly the same time happened. Roughly the same thing happened last year when her birthday came up. As far as I can tell, it's because her parents died in the accident that caused her scarring, and Hanako blames herself for their deaths. What she says does seem to make sense. If she's blaming herself on her birthday, she may well be ruining that she was ever born. <laughs> the fact that Lily seems so in the dark about it, though, almost to the extent that I am, is a surprise. So that's why she lives in the stu student dormitories then, as well? Has she told you any more about the accident? As close as we've come, she's very barely told me anything about what happened. What I know about it is largely conjecture. She sounds depressed, almost defeated, considering that the trauma Hanako must have gone through. I really can't fault Lily for not knowing. Nevertheless, she still seems to consider it a personal failing. Don't blame yourself, Lily. With everything she's gone through, I know. Thank you, Miss Al. I'm sorry I can't be of more help to you. It's fine. I'll just give it some more thought. Thanks, and have a good time in Sto Scotland. Oh, God. Am I? Hmm? It's nothing. Thank you for taking care of Hinako. Okay, bye. Goodbye. And with that, the line goes silent. Amid the seemingly only increased number of questions I can't answer, the most immediate is what Lily was going to say. Oh. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. She must have thought I was calling to talk with her, but I only asked for help with Hinako. Even more shameful than that, though, thought is the fact that she... That such an appraisal would be largely correct. Well, first things first. For now, I need to at least sort out Hanako and make sure that she's actually eating okay. The occasional passing student gives give badly hidden glances at the plate of food I carry to the female dormitories. It's hardly a meal to be proud of, but only being an instant microwave meal from the convenience store, it should at least fill her up. Eventually, out. I arrive outside her room after having to ward off a couple of girls who jokingly tried to pilfer the food I'd, I'd taken so long to procure. Really? Instant microwave took you so long to procure? Whatever. You know, I'm not I'm not a cook, but I mean microwave stuff. But, you know. I decided to forego knocking since it was proven to be an utterly useless measure and it's somewhat difficult to do with my hands full. Hanako, it's his out. I know you're listening. I got some food for you. Silence, as I expected. I'll leave it beside your door. Please eat it, at least, okay? There, I've said my piece. Now it's up to her. Putting the plate down, I walk back to my own room to eat dinner. My... Eat my dinner. By the time I return to Hanako's dormitory, a good hour has passed. Thankfully, there isn't anything to be seen beside her door. I walk back, at least somewhat happier that she's eating. If she intends to get through this by herself, then being able... Then being able to help, even if it's just 
such a small way is at least something. Wow, I was really close to the end last time. It's 8.02. Actually, I think 8.12, because that'll put more at 15 minutes, which I kind of like my videos to be. I usually aim for at least that. Usually goes over like 16, so I mean, whatever. I sit reading in the library after school, turning page after page, barely registering the words written on each out of sheer boredom. Wait, on each, okay. With my cheek resting my hand, oh, this is a classic. I always do that in school or home even. I've been playing Skyrim and do that, like, I'll lay on my bed because the TV's right in front of it. Anyways. With, uh, the, let me just restart. With my cheek resting in my hand, I can't help noticing that slightly rough feeling against my palm. It won't be long before I'll need to get a razor. Oh. Giving up on reading, I simply let my head drop onto the book in front of me. I haven't thought about that. He's gone the whole time without, you know. Yeah. Since. Yeah, you know, I need to shave, actually. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you, Hisao. Um. <laughs> things have quieted down considerably since Hanako began attending school again. When she first returned to class, nothing was said nor done that wasn't part of the usual routine. And it's been the same way since. Neither of us desired to bring up her accident, so there simply wasn't any point in pursuing it. Thus a few days went by, the daily, daily grind continuing just as it had before. It's only natural that my mind would wander to other places, and more importantly, other people. The lily-shaped hole in the daily life of Hinako and I has really been pretty noticeable for a while now. I'd be pleased to say that this has allowed me time to refine just what my thoughts on her exactly are, but alas, I have no such luck. Love sucks sometimes. It doesn't help that many attempts to do so have led to the troublesome topic of Wa Wanako. Every time my thoughts drift in that, into that direction, I reflectively try to think about it something else. Why did this have to happen now? Um, I turn and look up to the source of tentative voice coming from behind me. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb anyone. That's not it. Huh? Ah? I glance around the orange-tinted room, quickly realizing how silly my apology must have sounded. The time I've spent thinking, lazing about, everyone's well and truly left. Library closing? If you don't want to go, I could keep it open a bit longer. It's not trouble at all. Don't worry, I should get going anyways. Thanks. As I get up and begin to move off, I feel Yuko's eyes drilling into my bag. Is there, is there something wrong? You look depressed. Are you okay? Yuko nervously twists, twists her fingers as she says this, unsure whether she's overstepped her boundaries or not. I really can't tell if she's more worried about my mood or about bothering me. <laughs> Normally, I just shrug it off and assure her that I'm fine, but my reflective mood gets the better of me. Despite be despite oh Jesus, despite being staffed, he really doesn't feel as much like an authority figure as the others. It's just, I guess, the best term for it would be the relationship problems. Oh, I'm not too good with that kind of thing. My only relationship end a bit too abruptly. But if you want to talk about it, I mean, I could listen. I think I feel kind of bad for bringing it up. She's not that old, though, so at least she has a good chance of finding another partner. It isn't like we're in a bad situation right now. We we might live. We have spent penny days together as friends, sometimes going out to do stuff, that kind of thing. But I'm starting to want to do more for her, learn more about her, and be with her more. I'm not sure whether it's actually love or not, though, and our friendship as it stands is enjoyable. You shouldn't let that stop you. Ah, sorry. How to say this, um, I think that's nice that you have good friendship, but school is going to eventually end. Do you think you'll find, you'll be fine with not knowing, I'm, I gotta turn my light on. Ooh, ah, stretching the core, oh, okay. I love my headset, I can just go across the room and turn the light on and not freak out. Do you think you'll be fine with not knowing if it could have gone further after you've graduated? I guess that's the crux of the problem. I. Ugh, I'm stuttering today. Not stuttering, just gaps. Jeez. I really have no idea what the answer to that question is. Well, I can't... Well, I can't really help there. What your true feelings are is something you have to decide for yourself. But I think that if you do love her, you should definitely say something. 
After thinking about it really hard, I decided that even though my relationships didn't work out, it's still better that way than never knowing if it might have or not. I never expected Yuko to sound so wise. It only makes sense that, with more life experience than I, she'd have a better idea about this. Well, I suppose... Yeah. Well, I suppose not very much was actually answered. Talking to her has helped to get it off my chest, and I have no doubt that I should confess if I really do like Lily. I give a slightly frustrated sigh. If only reading so much actually helped when it comes to situations like this. She gives a girlish giggle, which only reinforces my view of her as being different from the usual staff here. In the end, it all comes down to what she... Bleh, to what will happen after school finishes once again. Considering what happened before I came to Yamaku, it feels like being asked to keep up with the field of runners despite having started from a dozen yards behind them. It's just one more motive to move on from the past. The last thing I need right now is to get too caught up in that and getting homesick while I'm at it. Once again, I find myself calling Lily. My phone bill is going to be horrific considering this is international. But it's worth it. I don't only want... See, I wouldn't because I would be killed. But then again, I... Well, at my current situation, I have computer, which is Skype, which... Marvelous thing, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a minute to talk about this. Skype, it just... It brings people together. Like, people I would never, ever be friends with. Like, people... In even other states or cross countries, like, you know, we could take Ozzy, for example, because I talk with him in group chats frequently with the other Chess Breach admins. I mean, I, I would probably, well, I mean, Facebook helped us be friends, but, I mean, so does Skype. Internet. Just the internet. It brings people together, you know? Without Facebook or Skype, I would never have met Ozzy. I would never have met other friends that I've made. I mean, I've met other, mostly Australian, which is weird, and some British. Which is kind of cool, because, you know, I mean, British, Britain. Uh, the UK, I don't know, seems interesting. I think I would go there for a vacation spot. Not that I will, but anyways, back to this. Well, I need a drink. Uh, I just brushed my teeth a little bit ago, so that tastes like shit. But it's worth it. I don't only want to smooth over her feelings from the last time I called. I generally want to talk to her again. I'm going to actually end it there. Um, and that will make it so, you know, we can... It'll be easier to separate and such. So I will be back in a m moment.